We are here at Ripley's Believe It or Not. Um, being in San Francisco and where we were visiting for a couple days, this was one of the things on our list that we really wanted to do. So we went to the baseball game and now we are here at Ripley's and we're going to go in and check everything that they have in this museum out. So come along with us. Unfortunately, they had a lot of music playing very loudly here, so I'm going to have to voice over a lot of this, but this mammoth here that we're looking at was completely made of tires. Uh, you can kind of see some of the tire detail in there, but that's really cool. And over here they are showing um, a car that got smashed over in the San Francisco earthquake in 1989. I'm really um, kind of upset about the loud music in this one so I have to record over it but the girls were really really intrigued by this one this vampire woman. Um, what they found probably interesting most of all was that she is a former attorney or former lawyer and I think that was interesting to them to know that she went from being a lawyer to being one of the most heavily tattooed women um, and modi modifying her body to look like a vampire. Um, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, Golden Gate Bridge made of popsicle sticks. Wow. Toothpicks. Oh, toothpicks. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, toothpicks. Toothpicks. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this thing is. Literally, they're toothpicks. You can see them. <laughs> in this room, they showed um, a mermaid, a mummified mermaid. Um, they say it's from Fiji Island, but um, I couldn't get a really good look. This one is for the fossil, the walrus fossil. Um, but the other sign shows information about the mummified mermaid and how it was a hoax. Um, it's hard to kind of read that with the glare from the display case, but um, it was turned out that this was just a hoax. Um, but people really thought it was real for a long time. Like, look how detailed it all is. It's crazy. No, the storks and everything. The dragon. Like, where they live, I got this place for cheap. But the mortgage. Crazy. Apparently, this is a coffin. This is what they called a fantasy coffin. <laughs> it says African fantasy coffin. That's why I said we, oh, they should bury, they should bury me in here. Apparently, they ordered designer coffins that reflect the occupation status, achievements of the deceased. Huh. Interesting. I want to know the person <laughs> that requested. A Coca-Cola bottle. I see you over there. Look at the size of this dress, babe. Go stand in front of it so I can get scale of like how big this and those shoes. Like, I mean, wow. The size of these shoes. Like, that's my hand. It's hard to see scale because it's behind a window, but like. This is from Sandy Allen, the 
gentle giant. She was seven feet tall by the time she was in high school. Nineteen, she was the world's seven, tall. Seven, seven, seven and a half. Jeez. Most of her clothes were sewn by her normal-sized mother. <laughs> Crazy. Size 25 shoe. shoe. Jesus. Custom Ugh. She died in 2008. Wow. Now it sounds like we're in the train traveling with all these artifacts. This is cool. As you're coming through and looking at everything, it's really cool. Oh, I've seen this before. Pedagon women? I think I said it right. I don't know. Oh, they stretch their necks? It's really just pushing their collarbones and ribs down. Few people have ever seen an actual genuine human shrunk head. And even fewer witnessed just how the Javaro shrunk human heads over 100 years ago. Fearless beyond belief, Robert Ripley was one such man. The Javaro believed that everyone has an avenging soul that exits the body of a murder victim through the mountains and then pursues his killer. To prevent the avenging soul from reaching happy, the Javaro wow. Indians created a sansa, or shrunken head, and performed a series of three ritual feats to neutralize the power of the avenging soul. Immediately following the killing of an enemy, a Javaro would hack off the head as close as possible to the body. He would then take the head a safe distance away from his enemies and begin the steps necessary to shrink the head. First, the Javaro would slit the scalp from the top of the head to the bottom of the neck, then very carefully he would peel away the skin of the face and the scalp of the skull. The skull was then thrown away, usually in a river, and the skin was then stretched over the end of a spear and dipped into a pot of hot water. Wow. This is where the shrinking begins. Crazy. A vine from a tree was then sewn into the neck to hold it together, after which stones were dropped inside. Wooden pegs were inserted into the lips to capture the soul and magic rites were chanted as the head was repeatedly submerged in the water. As shrinking began, hot sand was poured into the cavity. The head was kept constantly in motion in order to get the sand even all over the head. As the sand cooled off, it was reheated and placed back in the head, which was scraped each time with a knife wow. to remove the burnt tissue. So it's real. This is a real head. Gradually, is the head shrunk. The Javaro worked the features with his hand. The actual Zoltar machine. You want to give him a dollar? No? Are you afraid you're going to be a kid again? Go, go backwards, it'll be small instead of big? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Athena, get next to this guy. Let's see how short you really are. 
<laughs> uh, short. <laughs> Holy cow. Dang. You're like just over five feet. He's nine feet. <laughs> Crazy. This is terrible. They have a two-way mirror here. <laughs> when you first come in, you're on the other side and it has you making faces to see if you can do these things in this yeah, mirror. There's people that can stand here and watch you. Holy cow, that's hilarious. I did not listen to the now rules. Check your shadow on the wall. I did not listen to the rules the first time, so I looked into the floor. <laughs> Look at that. That's oh. cursed and beautiful. Oh my gosh. I used to I like the museum in LA used to have this. This is like our favorite. Ooh. You like jump in the air when it so, when it counts yeah, down, guys. Just ju do a heart. I press the button, Nicole. Oh, I don't have to push the button. I didn't realize. Stand against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flash. Close your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> now check your How shadow cute. on the wall. <laughs> Uh, the first time I looked into the flash, <laughs> my eyes are still dead. Here. I wonder how long it stays there for. Ribbon and I. Not too long. Oh my. Uh, Savannah, hold this. And then you guys can go ahead and go back there while I exit. We can do this. Next to it, over here. What the It's bears. gonna go away. No, don't block bears. It'll come all the way over here. Stand right here, but just don't like. I mean, as Ready? long as you got the picture Three, two. Stand against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flash. Five, four, three, two, one. Now check your shadow on the wall. <laughs> sort of. Why does this appear? I thought it would. <laughs> look you at the way Ruben's standing. <laughs> you can still see it above the rosy, doesn't that? Because he was standing on the shadow. Yeah, you can kind of see us still. Oh, yeah. You can see us get his back inside of Ruben. <laughs> Stand against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flash. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> now check your shadow on the wall. Ruben's the only one that's got the jump. <laughs> I don't know what Athena da is doing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't uh, it doesn't show me off the ground. It, it doesn't because you're not hot, but you can tell compared to like everybody else. Look at you, you can see your feet. Oh, yeah. And you can only <laughs> see Savannah's that. shins and Athena's, uh, Savannah's <coughs> knees. Athena's okay, shins. everyone close your eyes. Stand against the opposite wall and strike a pose. 
<laughs> Don't look into the flame. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. There's a reason why it says okay. that. Okay. Check your shadow on the wall. Try it again. Okay, let's do it again. So you gotta do it like it after one? one. Ready? Stand against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flash. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, much better. Look at it. I can see your guys' feet for sure this time. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. My position. I don't know. You look like I, I don't even know. You do. You look like you, I mean, no, you do. You look like a monkey jumping from one tree to the next. And I can be Tarzan, so we're gonna put yeah. the line. You actually kind of look like Pennywise in that. <laughs> I think it's your hair, the shadow of your hair, and then like your shoulder from your sweater kind of looks like the puffy shoulders. Oh my god. That's funny. All right, somebody do it with me now. By myself. Come on. Are we all gonna jump? Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Three. Okay. Stand against the op at your shadow on the wall. Um, what's that, Nicole? Yeah. And oh my god, Athena. <laughs> you look headless. I do look headless. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. So I'm Going into the mirror maze now. We decided to all go in separately, different times. So let's see. Oh, jeez. They're all... Oh, my God. I think I can kind of see where I'm going. Ooh. I see Savannah. Oh, what the hell? Wait, I see you in, like, every mirror over here. We weren't even supposed to be in the same areas. Oh, nope, dead end. Wait. <laughs> I think I'm following you, Savannah. Hi, uh, yep. Wait, no, maybe. I don't know. There's Savannah. That's in the thriller. <laughs> yep, found Savannah. That was a dead end, though. I don't know where I am either. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where the hell did you go? Like, I swear you were just right there. Oh, I hit a dead end, I think. Yep. Help, I'm lost. <gasps> I've, well, I found the same way. I just went the same way. Where did you guys go? I lost everybody. I'm by myself again. It's ribbon. I found an exit. I think I went back to where I came from. Because I went in the same way as you. And I did. Oh. And. Ah. Oops. Nope, I'm lost now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but it's Andrew. I made it out. No, it is a... What's his name? And this was Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. As you can see, we had a lot of fun in there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.